Tuanza kuarifu pale leo ni siku ya watoto ulimwenguni na bila shaka nitakuacha na makala maalum ambayo yanaangazia maslahi ya watoto. Taifa la Kenya linapojiunga na ulimwengu kuadhimisha siku ya watoto duniani. Kauli mbiu ya mwaka huu ikiwa ni kuangazia kila mtoto anapata haki wote ni sawa na muhimu. Ripota wetu Husna Muhammad analivalia njuga mfumo wa elimu hapa nchini Kenya na kubaini kuwa baadhi ya wanafunzi walemavu wanatengwa kielimu na hata sila basi ambayo inayoendesha elimu licha ya kupata elimu kuwa haki ya mtoto kote nchini kunao ambao wanaohisi wametengwa na serikali basi na kuacha na makala haya maalum mimi naitwa Ali Manzu naomba tupatane tena hapo kesho endelea kutazama asante hii ni shule ya msingi ya umma ya Garissa. Hii ni shule kongwe kabisa katika zini mashariki mwa Kenya. Shule hii ilianzishwa mnamo mwaka 1948. Pia ni shule pekee ya msingi yenye mfumo unaojumuisha wanafunzi wenye mahitaji maalum katika zini mwa Kenya na kuziba pengo linalohitajika sana katika jamii hii ambayo mara nyingi watu wanaoishi na ulemavu wanapitia unyanyapaa people normally feel that any disabled child is a curse or something like that and that they don't see it as an health issue and they think it is curse or it is something like that and, and and they hide these kind of children so you can imagine in our school here the few we've done a lot of advocacy and sensitization campaign through the mosques and the ulama's religious leaders and we have actually brought quite a number of learners i remember sometimes we were doing a massive campaign and the first group that i got who are totally blind learners some of them are today teachers in this school punde tu fatuma ahmed ambaye si jina lake halisi alipofikia umri wa kwenda shule shule ya msingi ya garissa ilimkaribisha kwa moyo mkunjofu ili yatimize ndoto yake natumia braille nasoma na rafiki yangu anaitwa Bushra Muhammad ananisaidia sana ananisomea mahali ambapo namwambia sielewi ananionyesha ana, alafu naelewa lakini ni kwa nini Fatuma Ahmed anategemea wenzake wamfunze in terms of their curriculum we have gaps but we have written to the respective authorities and it is our prayer those gaps will be mitigated this is a grade one book you can imagine the content 80% of the bait is in arabic script we don't have the same in braille so that when this child comes he can just through tact or touch he can just learn these scripts they are restricted it's not inclusive uh, their rights are not taken care of wazangu wananisaidia kunisomea kwa mfano mwalimu akifundisha siku na ile kuna ile kuandika pia wanafunzi wenzangu wananisaidia kunisomea kila siku Fatuma Ahmed na wanafunzi wengine ambao wanaishi na ulemavu wa kuona wanaenda shuleni wakijua fika watasoma tu endapo wenzao watawasaidia kusukuma gurudu mgumu la masomo bila usaidizi wowote kutoka kwa wakuzaji mtaala wa kitaifa shule ya msingi ya Garissa ina wanafunzi mbili na kumi wanaoishi na ulemavu kati ya wanafunzi mbili na kumi zaidi ya wanafunzi hamsini wana ulemavu wa kuona wote wakitumai kupata vitabu vya kujifunza kwa lugha wanayoelewa when people at other learners are taught this uh, grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 the totally blind learner just sits and he has nothing to be taught ufunzi wa braille nchini Kenya ulianza mnamo mwaka 1945 elimu ya dini ya Kiislamu IRE ni somo la lazima katika mtaala wa Kenya licha ya hilo wanafunzi wa Kiislamu wenye ulemavu wa kuona hawajumlishwi wala hawatiliwi maanani nimeuliza serikali kupitia taasisi ya ukuzaji mtaala ya Kenya KICD kwa nini nchi haina mfumo wa braille kwa lugha ya Kiarabu najibu lao ni that would also go with expenses but the good thing is that now we are identifying uh, those people who can do it within the country So once we bring them together and uh, this is has been planned uh, that we are going to meet them and they shall now be able to guide us what we need to do how can they help and support in in uh, actually producing such material because it's also expensive to bring somebody from outside as still expensive to produce braille material even here in Kenya is is very expensive it's resource intensive
But for government, uh, I don't think there is any excuse. Uh, and it is something that uh, we can actually take upon ourselves as the as an institution that speaks for Muslims, mm. maybe to lobby and to reach out to the Ministry of Education mm. to highlight the gap because normally governments uh, respond to the need. Ilani Jambogani, mwalimu wanaweza kufanya pindi anaputambua kwa mba mahitaji ya wanafunzi wake hayati mizwi. Mwalimu mkuu wa shule ya msingi ya garisa Ahmed Abdi anasema walilazimika kujikaza kisabuni angalau kuwafunza wanafunzi wao wenye mahitaji maalum so we have come up with initiative through the support of our offices came up with a print as a school we've been helping and then we are using the school as a platform for change so that it can go to the whole region and reach all muslims who are totally blind in this country so we supply the same to our sister schools in Wajia and now a new school in Mandera the same copies and you can imagine how do we reach the schools in Mombasa, how do we reach Nikoni, how do we reach Mumias and western part where we have a huge population of Muslims. Kulingana na hesabu ya sensa ya mwaka ilifu mbili kuminatisa, ilirikodi jumla ya wa Kenya milioni ya rubaina saba nukta mbili. Makadiriwa sirikali ya mwaka ilifu mbili kuminatisa, ya nasema atakribani ya silimia ya themanina tano nukta tano ya wa Kenya ni wa Kristo, hukua silimia ya kuminamuja wa kiwa wa Islamu. Katika kifungu cha 32 cha katiba kina hakikisha uhuru wa dini na kwamba hakuna mkenya yoyote atakayetengwa kwa sababu ya imani au dini yake. Kuna changamoto si haba katika ufunzaji wa wanafunzi kutoka jamii za wafugaji. We have a program for out of school children uh, where these learners are told to come to school whether they are in uniform or no uniform. We cushion them on that and then these partners and players support them later on in terms of facilitation and give them uniform bio katiba ya Kenya imewaahidi na kuhakikishia Husna Muhammad KT News nikiripoti kutoka kaunti ya Garissa